Hello everyone. Today let's talk about a PoE splitter. For us to understand PoE splitter, let's refresh our memory on what's a PoE. PoE is the technology that can help us transmit power and data through one single Ethernet cable. A PoE system is usually built up of two parts. One is the power sourcing equipment and the other is the power device. The power sourcing equipment provides the power and data, which is this PoE signal, and transmits to our terminal device. And the power device, which is a terminal device, receives the power and data and then functions properly. Usually, our power sourcing equipment can provide all the way up to 90 watts of power, and the bandwidth can withhold 1,000 megabits per second. The PoE systems can benefit our lives greatly, so they reduce our cost when we're setting up systems because everything is connected with a single Ethernet cable, even to our IP device, so no power cords, then no setting up like power outlets. Then it's that it's very effective, it can enhance the transmissions and productivity. Also, it's really safe because when we we only have like our power sourcing equipment connected to our arms cleaning current, so every other connection is arranged within the safety voltage for human contact. Well, I don't recommend you guys to touch it anyways. So there are a lot of IP devices in the market which are which came out before the PoE existed, so sometimes they don't have PoE enabled with them. So can they not benefit from this very convenient system? Well, the answer is no. We also have a solution for these non-IP, non... The answer is no. We also have a solution for these non-PoE devices to connect to our PoE system, letting them be enjoying the power and data transmitted through one single Ethernet cable. In this case, we would need what's called a PoE splitter. A PoE splitter, we can understand by its name, it splits the PoE signal. So with a PoE splitter, it will provide power with a different out input to our IP devices. So it's like splitting up the PoE signal to a separate source of power and data. The data will go through the Ethernet cable to our uh, Ethernet port on our IP device, and then the power will use a different input and input to our power cord for our uh, IP device. So right here in front of me, you can see I have two devices here. These are two of our fast cabling PoE splitters. This one is the 95 watts high power PoE splitter, and this one is 95 watts high power, high power PoE splitter as well. But this one is an outdoor version. So the in, this one, the indoor version, you can see it's like a sm really small little black box. It has two Ethernet ports right here. This one that says LAN means this is the uh, data output. Once it, the PoE signal is splitted, the data will come out from here. And this one says PoE is where the PoE comes from. This will act as a powered device. It will receive the PoE signal, then it will power it up, and then the chipset within will get it hands-on splitting the PoE signals. And then the power will come out from here. So we, all, we can also connect them to uh, 5 volts, 12 volts, 24 volts jacks. So we can just simply connect these red to positive. And then let's use one of our screws to screw them on. Screw tightly, attach it to this, so then uh, we will have a power output. And this one is a 12 volts DC cord, so it can help us power 12 volt devices, like this high power PTZ camera right here. And we also can connect it with these connectors as well. And also you can see the whole black case has a DIN rail design on the back. It can help us get hold on the DIN rail really easily and mount on walls. So it's very convenient for us to add this to our DIN rail systems when we have one. And usually that's the whole process for how to split the PoE signal to power and data. And the out, let's take a look now at our outdoor PoE splitter. Uh, it works the same. You can see right here on this, this surface right here, it has the power indicator and PoE indicator. So when we connect this device to our network and the PoE signal can come through, the power indicator will be on and the PoE indicator will be on. This means there's PoE transmitting in here currently. And then this PD in, which means power and data. Uh, data out means this is the port where the 
will connect to our IP device is where the data will be outputted. And the DC output means this is the port where the power gets, gets transmitted out. And we just use one of these 12 volt jacks as well and plug it red to positive, connect it inside carefully. And this one, voila, is complete. And they're both ready for us to split the PoE signal. Now let's easily connect uh, our high power 95 watts PoE injector to our PTZ, pa uh, passive PoE PTZ camera. Now let's do a little experiment connecting our 95 watts PoE injector to our non-PoE PTZ camera. We're going to use 95 watts as a power sourcing equipment and then it will receive the PoE signal right here, split it to a 12 volts power cable here and then an ethernet port will output the data through here and it should make our PTZ camera powering up. So first, the main data source for our injector. So now this one will receive data and now let's connect the power to it. You see the indicators are on, meaning this Injector is currently receiving power and data and it's ready to output PoE signals. Then I'm going to use an Ethernet cable right here. Use one to easily connect our injector to our splitter. So right now, See our splitter is currently receiving power. The indicators are on. And now I'm gonna connect this 12 volts jack to our PDZ camera and as you guys can see it can power it up already. You see our PDZ camera is working normally and we just have to connect this LAN port to our PTZ camera's ethernet input and right here. It will be ready to connect to our network and let us view the camera's image. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.